can't go to school. I have a fever. Send my homework to my death bed. <laughs> 158 degree temperature. <laughs> According to this, we should be basting you now. I also have a headache, a stomach ache, and a mouth ache. Uh, let me see your tongue. <laughs> the microwave's open and there's food coloring on the counter. <laughs> Funny, uh, Nicholas just came down with a blue tongue and a 158 degree temperature. Oh, I heard that was going around. I'll get your sweater and some tongue cleaner. Okay, Nicholas. Why don't you want to go to school? Just Franklin. Is that little bully bothering you again? Yes, ma'am. He just wants attention. If you ignore him, he'll leave you alone. Yeah, right. That's the life he said about Scott. <laughs> Blue time. I don't know where you get these crazy ideas. I see green. A green tongue. Nobody has a blue tongue. Huh. Amateurs. Let's go, Nicholas. <laughs> Zaria, what are you doing with those things? There's an opening on the cheerleading squad, and I'm trying out. Dad, she's going to humiliate our whole family. Forbid her to become a cheerleader. Good luck, honey. Thank you. Have a good day, you two. Nice to see you there. You see that? Now that's his little way of saying he's against the whole thing. <laughs> Saria, it's undignified. It's stupid. Only a bimbo would become a cheerleader. Hi. <laughs> Unless she was willing to put in the hard work and dedication that makes cheerleading such an important part of American life. <laughs> Hi, Ivan. I'm going to go get my book. Hi, um, I'm Michael. Really? Great to meet you. <laughs> um, listen, I know you must get this a lot, but... Could you show me a cheer? Sure. A cheerleader's always on call. <laughs> we came here to break a sweat. Too bad it hasn't happened yet. Kick, turn, and smile. <laughs> Please continue. I can. See, that's where I used to jump up on Todd's shoulders and he'd spin me around like pizza dough. Yeah, he used to be a cheerleader until they caught him frowning during a pep rally. We need a disruption. But that's no excuse. So this this last spot on the cheerleading squad doesn't have to be a girl? No, it could be a boy, as long as he has a lifetime supply of smiles and pets, and doesn't mind riding the games in a car full of giggly girls. <laughs> when do we? Nicholas, you've got to stand up to bullies. 
I used to get pushed around by this uh, big kid named Leroy Molden. We even made up a song about him. Bad, bad Leroy Molden. <laughs> Rip off your head and kick it to pony. <laughs> oh, big one. He was huge. So how did you whip him? Whip him? You didn't let him kick beat you up, did you? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. One day I decided I'd had enough. And pow! I fought back. And he never bothered me again. You really did that? <laughs> Leroy Mullen. <laughs> Right up there and tell him all right now. I, I got work, so I got to grade these papers. 
man. Charles says Leroy practically lives there. Yeah, he probably sitting around playing pool, eating free food. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> I think we should pay Mr. Leroy Molin a little visit. <laughs> if he can take time out of his busy schedule. <laughs> okay, where is the jerk? Probably one of those guys sitting over there. Try not to hurt him too much. You know what? I'm not even going to fight him. I'm just going to give him ten bucks and make sure he sees my Volvo when we drive off. You a 